Welcome to the Folktale Project. This is Dan Charles. This week I'm bringing you three stories from Maine as a vacation gift. These stories come from Myths and Legends of Our Own Land by Charles Skinner. And this story is a short one, but it's it's quite a ghost story. This is Jack Welch's Death Light. Pond Cove, Maine, is haunted by a light that on a certain evening every summer rises a mile out at sea, drifts to a spot on shore, then whirls with a buzz and a glare to an old house where it vanishes. Its first appearance was simultaneous with the departure of Jack Welch, a fisherman. He was seen one evening at work on his boat, but in the morning he was gone nor has he since shown himself in the flesh. On the tenth anniversary of this event, three fishermen were hurrying up the bay, hoping to reach home before dark, for they dreaded that uncanny light. But a fog came in, and it was late before they reached the wharf. As they were tying their boat, a channel seemed to open through the mist, and along that path from the deep came a ball of pallid flame with the rush of a meteor. There was one of the men who cowered at the bottom of the boat with ashen face and shaking limbs and did not watch the light, even though it shot above his head, played through the rigging, and after a wide sweep went shoreward and settled on his house. Next day one of his comrades called for him, but Tom Wright was gone. Gone, his wife said, before the day broke. Like Jack Welch's disappearance, this departure was unexplained, and in time he was given up for dead. Twenty years had passed when Wright's presumptive widow was startled by the receipt of a letter in a weak, trembling hand signed with her husband's name. It was written on his deathbed in a distant place and held a confession. Before their marriage, Jack Welch had been a suitor for her hand and had been the favorite of the two. To remove his rival and prosper in his place, Wright stole upon the other at his work, killed him, took the body to sea, and threw it overboard. Since that time the dead man had pursued him, and he was glad that the end of his days was come. But, though Tom Wright is no more, his victim's light comes yearly from the sea, above the spot where his body sank, floats to the scene of the murder on the shore, then flits to the house where the assassin lived, and for years simulated the content that comes of wedded life. And that is Jack Welch's Death Light, a story of murder, plain and simple. The murder of Jack Welch at the hands of Tom Wright. This is Dan Scholes for the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, Spotify, anywhere you'd like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com, where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'd also like to welcome Hetien, our latest Patreon patron. As always, thank you all so much for listening.